Hello on this wet and windy day. So this is just a very, very quick follow up on the uh, <coughs> Warlord Bolt Action. No, sorry, not Bolt Action, Cruel Seas models. Um, truly horrendous models was my last video title on this. And so I have gone to the stage now. I have finished painting up the box set. Well, with the exception of this Stuka. Um, I've gone with a very, very basic color scheme because they're horrible models. Um, they really haven't gotten any better. It's a bit hard to see this one because the light is not great on it. Um, and uh, it's dark. It's a very dark uh, German grey. You can see the masts are off. Look at that. Like, there's no amount of trying to straighten these up. And then as soon as you touch off something, they'll either fall off. There's a davits here, which are metal, and the bridge was metal, I think, on this one. Uh, so I have painted a grey. It's quite hard to see it on this one. Like you, is a little whiteboard here. That's not good. No, it won't. Right, I have a sheet of paper. A sheet of paper. You can see how much prep time I've given to this. That'll show you uh, how much. Uh, uh, interest I have in these models. Yeah, you can't really see them. Uh, okay, so that's the big ship. There was a merchant man, which I sort of painted and washed uh, in. You can't really see it. There's a bit of a DPM effect going on there, uh, but it's very hard to see. What I might actually do is just pause and reposition the camera. That's what I'm actually going to do. Okay, so you can see that a bit better there. There's the merchant man. What you can also notice is there is a huge buckling here on the ship. The resin model um, is not very, very good. It's um, it's it's warped all over the place. Uh, it's really like they got these model dies and they just said, you know what, we couldn't be arsed about the people who are buying these models. Just slap anything in, put, just slap them out in a bag, just throw them together. No instructions for the assembly. And you know what, that's their fault. They can deal with it. Um, Plus as well, on another level, I don't really like, I don't buy much from Warlord now anymore because um, they're a UK company um, and post-Brexit, uh, they've really just decided to pay for their Brexiting. They were just going to put the prices up in Europe. So as I said, I didn't really buy these. These were Dunnikas who'd bought them pre-Brexit. So that'll show you how long we've had these models when we're not playing the game. Um, so there's one of the uh, submarine, anti-submarine bolts. Our torpedo bolts, given that a little sort of a blue, uh, it's a bit hard to see, it has also a green wash on it. Um, this one has a sort of a bit of a camouflage effect going on as well. Uh, very basically painted, painted them with uh, Vallejo, uh, sorry, scale 75. Uh, the main gray for these was scale 75, uh, I'm just looking for it there, sea gray it's called, it was an airbrush paint sprayed it on a bit of black and a bit of white and then for washing i used these vallejo washes um <clears throat> viejo not vallejo viejo uh so that was it yeah and that was the sea gray that most of them got done in and um <clears throat> there was also a bit of black and a bit of white you know what black and white paints look like the other wash i used which came out in these ones quite nicely but it's hard to see it has a tinge of sort of green, the green, sea green, which was this Viejo uh, one. Um, these are a nice size bottle of washes and uh, they're, they're way cheaper than uh, Games Workshop. And they have the advantage of, oh look, and they have a proper mechanism on the top there for dropping out the paint. So even if you do knock it over, they're not gonna spill everywhere, which as anybody who knows, if they've ever used a Vallejo or a Games Workshop wash, it will spill everywhere, given uh, half the chance. So where to next? Well, the next thing is we have the models. Uh, Dunica has made up some other ones. Can't remember which ones he made up. He didn't make up. Yeah, he saw my pictures. Can't remember who what, what, who they were. So next stage is to uh, play a game of it. Um, I'm probably not holding out too much for the game, which could be good because it means we're going in with very low expectations of what this is like gameplay. Uh, be interesting. We'll let you know. We'll give you a report back when that's done. Uh, but until then, uh, talk to you soon and uh, be good.